Hey everyone, Will here with a, uh, another video for the Weapon Spin. I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, I've been meaning to. Um, so, got some ideas for a bunch of them, and uh, I'm going to get back into the routine of uh, putting some out. So what I got here is a whole bunch of bayonets I just went through, gathered up, and uh, some of the more common ones. Um, always come across bayonets at uh, flea markets, yard sales. Uh, um, they don't show up as much as I'd like them to, but uh, when they do, uh, most people they have a hard time identifying them. So I thought I'd do a little video if you're trying to find out what a uh, bayonet is. Uh, maybe it'll be here in this pile. Uh, it can help you identify it. First up, one of the most uh, common bayonets out there is the AK-47 bayonet. Most of the time you see them, it doesn't have the uh, leather frog going here or the uh, insulator. Um, it's got the uh, built-in wire cutter. Uh, and the insulators so that you can cut um, electrified wire and not fry yourself. Um, like I said, one of the mo more common bayonets out there. Lots of time you see them without this and w without the uh, frog and insulator. Um, you're probably looking at around a ten or fifteen dollar bayonet. There's lots of variations though, and uh, some of the more rare ones can get up there in price. This one, since it has everything, is in good condition. I would say it's worth around $40. That's a German World War II bayonet. Um, lots of GIs back after World War II brought home uh, um, lots of war trophies. So you do come across these every once in a while. Um, there's the markings. Uh, and a nice German bayonet can be good money. Um, this one's probably worth around $60, $75 or so. Um, but they can go up into the hunters depending on the, uh, the maker and condition. Um, so always a nice, uh, nice bayonet with the uh, Bakelite handles. Keeping with World War II theme, this is a Japanese... A World War II bayonet to the uh, Arasaka rifle. You can see the uh, markings and lots of different markings on these, lots of different variations. Um, nice collectible bayonet. Um, value on this one would be right around a hundred dollars. Another World War II bayonet. This is Italian with the arsenal mark there. Turney. Uh, find these a lot without the uh, scabbards. This one's seen better days, definitely. Um, nice little bayonet. Uh, value would be probably. Uh, less than forty dollars for that. Here's a, a World War One English bayonet or a World War Two. Um, see the uh, marking on there for Enfield rifle. I think this was uh, Home Guard because it was all painted black. Lots of times the uh, Home Guard like to like to paint uh, all their stuff black. Um, still a nice bayonet. Somebody had painted it silver. I got most of that off of there. Uh, a little unsure of value on that. We'll say uh, $80 or so. Uh, this is a pretty common bayonet. A Belgian uh, foul tubular uh, bayonet. Pretty common. Um, with the scabbard, less than $20 on that. Lots of these around. This is Russian 
for a uh, Mosin Nagant uh, rifle. Uh, just a long spike bayonet uh, socket type. Uh, value of that is less than twenty dollars. This is English from uh, World War II uh, for an infield uh, rifle. Um, see these a lot. You don't see the scabbard as much for some reason. Uh, value of this right around fifteen dollars or so. Uh, of course, once again, depends on the maker. Um, the more rare ones can be worth more. Uh, scabbard, scabbards itself uh, probably worth around fifteen dollars. So together, we're looking at thirty, forty. Uh, see a lot of these around. This is a uh, Spanish uh, bayonet, and lots of people think that. Uh, it's been ground too much, um, but uh, the shape of the blade is done that way on purpose uh, to increase the uh, cutting uh, capability of it. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the crest on there too well or not, but uh, pretty common bayonet. Um, value of this only around. $25 or so. This is a well made one. Uh, Swiss. Lots of times you see this uh, without the uh, leather frog. Neat looking bayonet. Uh, well made. Uh, double sided. Uh, steel bayonet. Uh, value of that with the frog would be about uh, oh, $30 or so. Without the frog, about 25. Uh, World War II. This is the M1 uh, Grand Bayonet. Uh, this one's marked uh, AFH uh, for American Fork and Hoe. Uh, with a scabbard. Hard to find anymore. Uh, but they do show up every once in a while. Uh, nice bayonet. Uh, prices of these start at like 75 and go up from there fast. Lots of times if you do find a M1 uh, bayonet, it's been cut down. Um, and uh, these really uh, lose a lot of collector value when they've been cut down like that. You can see somebody is uh, uh, took the uh, grip panels off of this probably to put on a uh, better condition one. Uh, another bayonet to, from World War II that shows up every once in a while. This is the M4 bayonet. Goes to a uh, M1 carbine. This one has a rubber handle. Most of the time you see them they have the uh, leather handle. Um, but here in the U.S. they do pop up every once in a while. Uh, values on these start at like uh, $60, go up from there. Um, in good shape, you're probably looking at uh, over 100 And last, another U.S. bayonet. This is the um, M7 uh, bayonet that fits the... Um, M16 rifle. Got the large hole here. Uh, lots of these uh, have been made over the years, and lots of them are around. And uh, run across these uh, a lot. Um, value on this in decent shape would be around oh, 25, 30 dollars. Uh, maybe a little more if it's if it's in really good shape. Um, so there you go. Uh, hope that out of that whole bunch, I helped somebody uh, um, try to figure out what kind of bayonet they had. But uh, there's lots of them out there, and uh, it can be challenging sometimes to uh, uh, figure out what you got. So uh, till next time, this is Will with the uh, 
uh, weapons bin, and uh, we'll talk again soon.